I'm here with Stuart Brand. He's the founder of the Whole Earth Catalog and the just out on paperback Whole Earth Discipline. What do you think about renewable energy like solar? Do you think that has potential? It's sad that we have to keep saying potential about solar. Uh, it's been around for 40 years and you know, should have proved itself by now. In terms of providing grid electricity at the scale of coal, uh, it's nowhere close yet. Wind is starting to be significant, but environmentalists are learning that it, you know, just to get a gigawatt of electricity from wind uh, takes about 250 square miles of landscape. M major solar application we'll see will be across the Mediterranean with North Africa with a lot of mineral desert where you don't care if there's you know, major solar farms on the sand. Uh, sending direct current electricity without a lot of loss north into Europe. But generally wherever you have a green desert like we do in California where I'm from, you've got a lot of green on green fighting going on about solar now there because you know 50 square miles of bulldozed desert to get a gigawatt of solar electricity you know, starts to look like a kind of a not so pleasant trade-off and so you know just from the green perspective I've been a environmentalist for 60 years um, a bunch of things that we used to think I think are having to be rethought things that we thought were against green like nuclear and biotechnology and even geoengineering are, in light of climate, actually now green. Uh, nuclear is replaces coal, and uh, it works um, as clean as hell in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. The other thing about nuclear is that it's moving very quickly now. It is having a renaissance, not just in terms of more reactors being built, but there's a lot of new reactor designs coming along that are smaller, cheaper, um, the fourth generation reactors, the so-called integral fast reactors, um, the waste that came out of the nuclear waste, which there isn't much of, but it's all in storage at the various sites and dry cask, it's not a problem there. That's probably going to be fuel for the next generation of reactors. So the whole waste problem gets a lot smaller than we used to think. And then the weaponization issues. Uh, the work around there has been fuel banking that President Obama has been supporting. Um, there's a lot of international interest in doing that so that a new nation like United Arab Emirates that wants to get nuclear power, they don't want to get involved in concentrating fuel or burying fuel, spent fuel or any of that. So they'll just rent the fuel from an international consortium, a fuel bank and uh, they get the electricity and somebody else deals with the fuel they can reprocess it or bury it or do whatever they want so a lot of the issues that with nuclear that used to be kind of showstoppers uh, as i looked into the research i had to flip my mind around from being kind of mildly anti to at this point so pro that if climate were not an issue i would be pro nuclear just because it's so much better than coal so what do you think the future of green transportation is? Do you think that electric vehicles are going to take off with the mainstream public? Yeah, I think they will take off. No matter where your electricity comes from, even if it comes from coal, it is providing less emissions than if you're driving with gasoline or diesel. Okay, so far so good. But what you really want is clean electricity. <laughs> and if the electricity is coming from coal, it's still pretty dirty. If it's coming from gas, that's better. It's you know, half the emissions of coal. If it's coming from wind, or solar, or nuclear, now you're getting to really clean transportation energy.